there is a mysterious ancient city hidden deep within the canyon walls of the New Mexico desert. A place of magic rituals, astronomical alignments, and supernatural legend. This massive city was lost for centuries when its occupants seemingly vanished nearly 1,000 years ago. To this day, archaeologists and historians are unable to piece together exactly what happened here. So we traveled into the ruins looking for any clues that would help us understand the true history of the canyon. What we soon would discover was a history far more shocking than anyone could believe. So join us, End Times Productions, for a unique look into Chaco Canyon, home of the Ancient Ones. The ancient Anasazi people had superior knowledge of mathematics, astronomy, ritual magic, as well as supernatural abilities. Tribal elders tell stories of extraordinary events that occurred in the canyon. Events so shocking, the ancient ones decided to carve depictions of these events into the canyon walls as a semi-permanent record of what happened here. Let's listen to Laguna Pueblo Council member Paul Pino describe the events leading up to the collapse of Chaco Canyon. In our history, they talk of things that occurred a long time ago, of people who had enormous amount of power, spiritual power and power over, over people. I think those types of people lived here in Chaco. We look upon Chaco Canyon, especially Pueblo Bonito, as a place where people of great power lived. Uh, at one time, the Kakwe Pitsu Liakwe, meaning the people who live in the in the circular house, were people that had magical powers, power over animals and birds and so forth. Here at Chaco, they were very very powerful people who had a lot of spiritual power, and these people probably use their power in ways that that cause things to change and and that may be have, may have been one of the reasons why the migrations were set to start again is because these people were causing changes that were never meant to occur Perhaps over time, the original premises on which they uh, began to develop these uh, places uh, could have been corrupted. And some people who come here feel that there was an aspect to this place that was uh, perhaps darker. The 15 mile long canyon is home to over a dozen massive complexes. The largest, Pueblo Benito, has over 800 rooms and sections that were over five stories tall. Tucked away on a cliff face behind Pueblo Bonito lies one of the canyon's most telling secrets. Three feet carved into the mountainside, featuring six toes each. Are these six toed carvings showing the feet of a Nephilim hybrid depicted in the Bible? From the Book of Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 6. Quote, And yet again there was war with Gath, where was a man of great stature, whose fingers and toes were four and twenty, six on each hand, six on each foot, and he was also the son of a giant. End quote. Legends from all over the American Southwest speak of giants, six-finger, red-haired giants who have been inhabiting these remote areas for centuries. They speak of evil, cannibalistic giants who would terrorize the tribes with their hunger for human flesh. 
Not only do they speak of giants, however, they also mention monstrous creatures. Monstrous creatures that they carved into the canyon walls as a record for all to see. All throughout Chaco Canyon are these massive, circular structures called kivas. The kivas are perfect circles built into the earth for the purpose of rituals, ceremonies, and religious practices. They were used extensively by the Anasazi, who, according to their own verbal history, used the kivas to summon entities from other dimensions. A member of the local Pueblo tribe was quoted saying, quote, my grandfather used to claim the kivas were used for more than simple prayers and ceremonies. He claimed the Anasazi could use those rooms to go to other worlds." End quote. We know that the ancient ones used petroglyphs throughout their history in order to document events. Petroglyphs like this, the spiral. The spiral is found over and over again in different countries, different cultures, all throughout the world. Spirals are found from the jungles of Peru to ancient Egypt and many places in between. Spirals can be seen as a symbol of a portal, a multi-dimensional portal used by beings for transport between worlds. This is evident by the petroglyphs and the stories they tell. Let's take a look at some of the petroglyphs we found during our exploration of Chaco Canyon. What we see here are supernatural creatures coming out of the spiral and manifesting themselves in this dimension. Over and over again we see the same imagery, literal monsters emerging from these spirals. Oftentimes they are still connected to the spiral, other times they are standing right next to it. You also see images of humans getting sucked into the spiral upside down and on the other side a monster emerges. This is a common theme throughout the canyon at numerous petroglyph sites that we visited. They all seem to be telling us the same story. During our investigation of the canyon, we came across several interesting petroglyphs, depictions of monsters, dragons, gray aliens, and weird looking beings, but I never found what I was looking for. We searched the entire park for this carving that has been documented numerous times over the years and yet we found nothing i started to wonder are they hiding it is there any off-limits areas where they don't want the tourists to go so i decided to ask one of the park rangers the conversation went like this excuse me would you be able to help me find something in the park i was unable to locate the ranger replies yes absolutely so I say, there are some footprints with six toes carved into the side of the mountain somewhere behind Pueblo Bonito, and I'm having a hard time finding them. The ranger says, ah, yes, those. They are located in an off-trail area closed to the public. Closed to the public? What else do they have closed off to the public? And as we were about to leave, we decided to watch their 30-minute film at the visitor center. What we saw was shocking. They showed us petroglyphs like no other we have ever seen. Perfectly clear images of interdimensional demons with pyramids stacked on top of its head. We walked through the entire park and never saw this. We started to wonder, where are these located and why are they hiding them from us? Also, it got us thinking, what else are they hiding from us here in Chaco Canyon? In 1999, anthropologist Christy G. Turner II published a research book with the University of Utah entitled, quote, Mancorn, Cannibalism and Violence in the Prehistoric American Southwest, end quote. The term mancorn is the literal translation of the Aztec word tiak taluai, which refers to a, quote, sacred meal of sacrificed human meat cooked with corn." End quote. In Turner's book, he provides evidence of cannibalism in 72 ancient Anasazi sites, including Chaco Canyon. 
Forensic evaluation of bones found at these sites proves they were cannibalized. The question is by whom? Who were eating the Anasazi? After the collapse of Chaco Canyon around 1150 AD, the remaining members of the Anasazi spread out and separated. They moved deep into remote canyons, building dwellings high up on cliff faces or on highly fortified mesas. To archaeologists, it was as if the Anasazi were overtaken by paranoia, hiding from some terrible enemy, but no matter how hard they looked, no enemy was found. Or was it?